President Trump getting the crowd roaring in Wisconsin tonight and his campaign style rally. Here with reaction to that and much more is Trump's 2020 senior advisor, Katrina Pearson. Katrina, you're basically my only guest, so no pressure. But... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so President Trump said a lot tonight. Um, what would you say, if you could sum it up, what's his 2020 message? Uh, well, look, first, Lisa, uh, thanks for having me. My thoughts and prayers are with the family of today's uh, shooting. Um, you know, for 2020, I think it's going to be interesting because, as you know, uh, they didn't see us coming last time, Lisa, which is why you heard uh, for the better part of a year and a half that uh, the candidate Trump at the time didn't have a ground game and would not be able to turn these massive rallies into votes. And, in fact, under the leadership of Brad Parscale and Jared Kushner, um, that is exactly what happened. And we're now living through uh, the greatest political upset in United States history. So the message for 2020 is very clear, and the president states it nearly every day. The difference is that you're going to have under a pro-America, pro-Trump agenda government versus your socialism, anti-American. I mean, essentially, the choice is going to be for 2020 is your 401k and your child's prosperity versus illegal aliens and Boston bombers. And I think that's a very clear message that we'll be able to send. And Katrina, tonight, President Trump called up Sarah Sanders to the stage. And as we know, the White House Correspondents Dinner is going on right now. She, Michelle Wolf, comedian last year, I was there. She got panned for being, you know, just really cruel to Sarah Sanders. I want to play this sound real quick and then get your reaction. Okay, actually, sorry, we don't have that time and we're running out of time. So I'll just move on. But so point being is he called her on stage. She was really criticized last year. Um, it was she pretty was, tough. Yeah. Do you think the fact that President Trump is out there in Green Bay with, you know, with voters as opposed to being there in Washington, D.C., with men in suits, women in dresses, sort of this Washington elite, is that why voters in Wisconsin were drawn to him in 2016? That's exactly right. I was there, too, and I was mortified by what I heard from Michelle Wolf. And I think that, this, that you're exactly right. President Trump knows his gut instinct is always to be with the people. That's why he always sides with the people, and his policies put the people first. And I think, you know, snubbing the White House Correspondents' Dinner uh, really wasn't a snub. It's just his way of saying, you know, I'd rather be out here telling you all of my accomplishments because those folks at the dinner have no intentions of telling you the truth about what we've been able to accomplish here in, in the Trump administration. And Katrina, Joe Biden, Vice President Joe Biden entered the race this year or just entered the race this week. Uh, there are reports that Joe Biden is the candidate that President Trump fears the most. Is that the case? Uh, I don't know if you've ever met President Trump, but President Trump doesn't fear anyone or anything for any reason. Um, he has a very clear record of keeping his campaign promises and fighting to keep those promises, regardless of who he's fighting against. And Joe Biden is a has-been. He is somebody who has been in office for a very long time with nothing to show for it. I understand why the Democrats want to support him. But he's starting his campaign out on a racial hoax, number one. Number two, hired someone who says that the party shouldn't be led by white men. So you're going to have a candidate who really hasn't had his media vetting uh, in a situation like this up against a candidate who is very strong, very tough, and very committed to the people of this country and to this nation's security. And Joe Biden is not, uh, he's not ready for what he's about to get into. Well, and Katrina, a group called Justice Democrats, which I'm sure you're familiar with, are the ones that endorsed Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, tied to her. But they put out a statement saying that Joe Biden stands in your complete opposition to where the center of the energy is in the Democratic Party. In order to get to a general, he has to win the primary. Is that going to be a problem for him, these progressive base? Well, it's going to be a huge problem because Democrats are no longer progressively, so they're now socialist. All of the policies that are coming out of the AOCs and the Bernie Sanders group, they're all socialist policies. And as President Trump said, this country will never be a socialist right. country. So if Joe Biden wants that support, he's got to fall on that sword. Right, Katrina. And that means he's going to lose. We've got to get going. I appreciate you being here tonight. And you did a Thanks great job. Thanks for having so me. <laughs> Thanks.